Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. So I had no idea what I wanted to post today but then I realized I have a really good story time I can actually tell you guys because I haven't told this on my Swedish channel what I know of and yeah I thought it would be really exciting for you guys to share this because now it's like a few years ago it happened uh, so it's not too much of an embarrassment to tell it but yeah. With further ado, let's get into this video. So, this happened like six or seven years ago when I was still in high school. Um, so I was like around 19, 20 when this happened, now I'm 25 years old. And this is probably the most embarrassing thing that has happened to me. So the thing is, I traveled with my sister to London because our mom gave us money and paid for the whole trip so we could like have a fun trip together so th that's the first trip me and my little sister who now is like what is she? she's gonna be 23 now so yeah so this happened like a few years ago um like six or seven years ago um i was around 1920 and my sister who is two years younger um was with me we were traveling to london together it was our first trip like that we only do together as just her and me because we have traveled once before and it was with my friend one of the most one of the most fun trips i have actually had it was really great and i actually enjoyed it a lot but there was this one night we decided to go to a club i think it was called like libertine liberty or something like that and why we ended up in that club it's because in london if you want to party there are these so-called promoters, they come up to you and try to give you a really great deal um, and help you. But some of the prom promoters are fake, but my sister realized this one was like a real one. And yeah, she said basically to us, like, if you, we go to that club, um, we can maybe get like a table where we can like, yeah, have free drinks basically. And we like paid... 180 crowns that's like cheap when you think about one table and how much we drank um but we got in and even before we got in we tried to like go to these other clubs but they were too exclusive it were like only celebrities and yeah many of the clubs in london has like dress codes and, and also like some of the people only choose like good looking people to the club so yeah I know that's some that's weird when you ask me, but that's how it is. But either way, we ended up going to Libertine, me and her. And I can tell you guys, I didn't drink anything uh, before going to the club because I had a really bad migraine, so I took like some medicine for it, and I I like totally forgot about it that I have taken the yeah medicine. Um, so I decided to drink because. We ended up having this table and there was this dude, I think, who owned the table, who had bought it and he was the one who was paying for these drinks. But I can let you guys know already that we never saw this guy, we don't know who owned this table. Uh, we just know that there were a lot of other girls there, there and he was paying for all of our drinks but we never knew who the dude was. But either way, so we go to this club. And we get to the table and there the promoter is there also and some other people and she's bringing us drinks um they were really delicious i remember it was like fruity grapey like grapes or peach kind of drink it was really great and i ended up enjoying those drinks too much i think i took eight of those I had a few blackouts during the night because some things I don't remember, some things I do remember, but I ended up throwing up on my sister's pants in the club. It was so embarrassing. So I got thrown out from the club and before we got to the club there was this weird dude who was offering us a taxi ride and he was basically a fake cab. and. I was like avoiding that, of course, but then me being stupid as I am, 
I go with that dude that I don't know into a taxi by myself. I don't have even my jackets because at this point I don't know, I don't remember, but I remember getting into his car and he was like holding me like this. It's kind of creepy, but either way, I ended up going to this taxi and he was driving me around. I have I had no clue where I was. Then I remember, I think, my sister calling me or texting me, texting me, and I was explaining to her what happened, and then she's like, are you stupid? Why are you in that dude's car? And then somehow I, I don't know, I realized what was going on, and I got, like, I did get panicked. And he, this dude, he was supposed to, I told him to drive me to the hotel, but he ended up driving me around, I don't know where, and then I got really mad because I, realized that he wasn't gonna take me to the hotel so I ended up telling him that I won't go anywhere with him unless I'm with his sister uh, oh <laughs> I mean I told him I won't go anywhere unless I'm with my sister because we're gonna travel to the hotel, hotel together with the car and I think he was okay with that he got kind of afraid because I started screaming and yelling at him because I got panicked uh, but I remember once, like before I got to my sister, he stopped a few times, so I needed to go to the like cash machine and take out like the payment in cash for him. And then I ended up like he ended up driving me back to the club, I think. And then I saw my sister like a few like I don't know, a few blocks away um from the club I saw her and she was sitting like there uh, on the ground together with this promoter and they were like kind of laughing and being drunk. Um, then I, then the yeah, cab came, I told her to get into the car so we can get to the hotel. I remember us fighting but I don't know about what. I think there was this dude she thought was hot and she wanted to stay with him. This promoter has left already. Uh, and then she ended up coming to the car anyways, and then she asked me if I have the ticket for the jackets. And I thought I thought I had lost it, so I told her I have lost it, we can't get our jackets back. But me being drunk as I am, I have ended up putting it in my jeans back pocket. So yeah, I got that figured out, we got our jackets, we get to the car and... We got safely, luckily, to the hotel, but the guy I was paying ended up blowing me off money because I paid him, like, I think 500 crowns, and that didn't cost 500 crowns. He took, like, two or 300 extra, and I didn't have a lot of money left after that, so... Yeah, I really screwed up. I mean, who goes and jumps into a stranger's car when they are drunk? So yeah, I have like only once been like really drunk, it was like during my graduation, but besides that I've never been that drunk, I never want to be that drunk, because I'm not a person who drinks often, so I shouldn't drink a lot when I'm gonna drink, just because I don't drink that often, but I don't know if this story time made any sense, because I know that when I speak I sound a lot of, like, I sound insecure, and it's because I'm kind of insecure in my English, but I hope you guys understood it, and yeah, if you guys want more story times, or if there is something else you guys want to hear, see on this channel, give this video a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe if you're new, and also leave a comment or two, and see you next time, take care, bye!